HTML format is the best for interactive notebooks because it's as portable as PDF, it can include rich 2D graphics, 3D and dynamic content. In computational notebooks normally have a kernel connected to a web page and in theory one could pre-record all data mutations, events, interpolate the gaps and replace an entire kernel with a black box and then pack it into a single HTML file. Let's see how it works in practice. So here is my widget, it's a Gaussian curve. So I click share, dynamic HTML. So now basically I interact with my widget and the state machine records all changes that happen here. In principle, more samples I get, more accurate my system will become. Okay, almost done. Now it's an HTML file and there is no connection to a kernel, but my widget works.